Welcome to Spatial Match. This tutorial is designed to give you all you need to get started with the platform. On the left side of the map you'll see uh, our toolbar. The select tool allows me to drag and pan the map as well as to click on objects on the map uh, when we turn on different uh, pieces of data. So we'll talk about that in a minute. The zoom in and zoom out tools allow me to click uh, plus to zoom in and minus to zoom out. Very straightforward. The draw to zoom tool actually allows me to draw around the area that I want to zoom in on and you'll see that we jump right into that area. So it's a very fast way to zoom into the place that you're interested in. I'll just talk about these three. Uh, map options allows me to toggle between road, satellite, and terrain views. Uh, the reset button allows me to clear all of the data off the map, so if you want to start with a clean slate, you can do that. And also the help area allows me to access other tutorials or tool tips to learn more about the system. At the bottom of the map, you'll see the address bar. I can simply type in the location that I want to zoom to, and you'll see that we jump right over to that location. The navigation area is in green, and this allows me to navigate the map uh, and actually to move back to previous views on the map or move forward. So uh, you'll see that if I click back, we jump right back over to the area we were previously. And if I keep hitting back, you'll see that we continue to, uh, to move back in our map history. If I click forward, I will jump forward. Home will take me back to the original location where the map loaded. And the bookmark button down here actually uh, captures the view that I'm currently looking at in a permalink. So if you ever did want to capture a view, uh, you can simply click the bookmark button and you'll see that uh, that view, including all of the data that you had on the screen, will actually be captured in that bookmark. So you can uh, add it to the bookmarks in your browser, or you could even email it to someone and they could go visit that same view. Register and login allows you to access your Spatial Match account. Uh, register is going to ask me for my name, email address, and phone number, and that actually sets up my Spatial Match account. Uh, and once you have an account, just click login and type in your password and uh, you'll be logged back into the system. Accounts allow you to save all sorts of different searches and objects uh, within the system. So as you build your searches, uh, you can get back to them very quickly once you have an account. So we do recommend setting one up. Lifestyle uh, is an application that allows us to view uh, different pieces of data on the map. You'll see that under Lifestyle we have schools and as well as all of our business layers. So uh, it's very simple to use. Simply select the uh, category you're interested in. In this case we'll choose schools and then a subcategory if necessary, so public schools and then you can choose the object that you want to turn on. So we'll turn on elementary schools. And as you can see, all these little blue dots which have shown up on the map, these are now our elementary schools. You can of course set a distance that you want to live from these schools. So we'll choose half a mile. And you can see that anywhere shaded blue would be within half a mile of a school. We can turn on as many data layers as we would like. So I'll go back into lifestyle and we can choose dining for instance. And we'll turn on coffee shops. You'll see that all the dark blue icons are coffee shops. And you can even filter these uh, coffee shops by brand if you like. So you simply under name type in the uh, brand of uh, coffee shops that you want to visit. And again you can set a distance around those. And you'll see that only the brand uh, that I chose is displaying. And I can, of course, click on any of these objects to get information about this particular location, including the address and the name, and the, as well as the contact information of that business. For schools, I can get a lot more information. I can click on those, and I can see uh, the name and the address. But I can also see quick facts about the school, like the number of students and the student-to-teacher ratio. And uh, I can even click more details to see enrollment by grade. 
So uh, lots of great information around the schools. As you build your uh, lifestyle search, <clears throat> you'll start to identify areas that you're interested in living. If you want to learn more about a specific area, uh, we can uh, turn on the areas application, which is in purple here. And we can select the area types that we want to view. So because we're in uh, downtown San Diego, let's turn on neighborhoods. And uh, you'll see that these blue lines are now outlining the different neighborhoods. So if this looks like a good neighborhood to me and I want to learn more about it, I can hover over the border and simply click on the area. And you'll see that we get great information about this area, such as the total population and the average income, uh, as well as a lot of other specific uh, demographics information. Clicking more details will give us even more details on the education, population, income levels, and also the weather for this specific area. So this is a great way to access lots of additional information. So once I've identified an area that I think I want to live, uh, we can of course turn on our listings now. These are under the Homes application. And all I need to do is click on For Sale to view the For Sale listings. And we'll now see all these green dots are showing me uh, my For Sale properties. I, I can of course uh, select different types of For Sale to, uh, to look at. So uh, if I'm not interested in detached homes, I can uncheck those and they'll shut off from the map. <clears throat> in addition, I can scroll down on the Homes application and you'll see even more filter criteria. So I can filter, of course, by beds and baths, um, the listing price, the home size, the lot size, the days on market, and the year built. We can, of course, filter by <laughs> the distressed properties. So, uh, and I can simply click on the uh, check boxes for the types of distressed properties that I'm interested in. I can uh, choose featured properties if I'm on a site where they've designated featured properties. And I can also filter my property search by keywords. So if there's something specific about a home that I'm looking for, say a fireplace, I could type that into keywords and uh, filter to only homes with a fireplace. Uh, you will note that uh, if you want to use multiple keywords, just uh, separate them with commas and you'll be able to put in as many keywords as you would like. Filtering by geography actually allows me to come in here and to select only the areas that I want to live in. So if I liked that core Columbia area, I can filter my home search to just that area. And you'll see that I can even go in and shut off all the other neighborhoods now. And uh, you can see that my home search is uh, completely limited to this area now. When I found a, a property that I'm interested in, I can simply click on it and I'll get lots of uh, great information about that property, including uh, some pictures. And of course, I can see the quick facts about the property. Clicking more details, of course, gets me access to more great pictures, also a description and uh, property details. So that's a quick introduction to Spatial Match. It's really powerful. There are lots and lots of features that we couldn't go over in this, so we recommend uh, going in and uh, playing around with it, and we think you'll really enjoy the experience.